So in the last video, we spoke about hacks Flixel and the components that go into making it up. So OpenFL, um, Lime, and Flixel, of course. And now we're going to talk about setting up a basic Flixel or hacks Flixel project. This is a VS Code file purely for using the terminal. Um, don't worry about what's in this file too much, apart from what goes on down here. So to start off, I'm going to show you the documentation, official documentation for installing Flixel. So I'm going to install it in two ways. One with Lix and one without Lix. So I'm going to do the version without Lix first. So before you start any of this stuff here, please make sure that you have installed hacks. Because once you have installed hacks on your machine, you get access to hackslib, which is a bit like um, installing a node and you get npm. You install hacks and you get hackslib. Um, so to make sure that you have hacks installed, simply run hacks dash dash version and it will tell you the version you have. So I've already run through a lot of these steps here. So I'm not going to do it again, but I'm going to show you. Um, yeah, actually, let me have a look at how you can check if you have hackslib. What happens if I do that? Okay, so hackslib is installed here. Um, what I'm going to say is when you're doing this, make sure you do these three. These three are crucial. Um, this one is optional, I'd say. And this one I think is optional, I'm not sure, but I don't think you have to run it. Um, but once you've installed all these three things, so basically uh, hacks, lib, install, well, I'm not going to do it now because I've already done it, but once you've done all, all those three things, it should, yeah, it, it'll do it quite quickly, I think. Wow, 121, 120 megabytes, that's quite large. Um, but yeah, so once you've done all those three things, the next thing to do, I'd say, is to come to this github page i'm going to put the description sorry the link in the description but basically the, what this will say you should do is um where is the next step i think it will say after this bit it will say you should run like hack template or something like that and create a whole hello world this is this is a good thing to do if you want but i would recommend um getting this repo because it has a lot of the stuff we set up for you it's got like uh the hx format for formatting files um, you don't actually need this, but it's got yeah, it's got a basic kind of hello world in, in that already. So um, to get access to this repo locally on your machine, you can either download the zip or do what I'm going to do, which is copy this and then go into the terminal and then type in git clone and then paste that into it like so. Why is it red? Don't know. So it's going to clone that. It's going to take some time. Um, not too long, of course, and go into it. So game jam template. Then open that up with VS Code. Here we go. Okay, so this is everything that you kind of need. You don't actually need this. So if you want, you can get rid of this folder. Um, but I'm going to keep it in there for now because I'm not going to keep this for long. But now to um, to run this file. You need to open up your terminal like I've done here, and you need to run a few simple commands lime test HTML5. Um, I've made a mistake. No, I haven't. I haven't seen this already before. This is quite fun. So, has it done it? I don't actually know what to expect now. Huh. There we go. So now, as you can see, it is running the game. Hello world. With some sound as well, but you can't hear the sound. So that is the simple kind of way of installing a Hacks Flexible project. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to explain how to do it with Licks. So stay tuned. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one.